What is up ladies and gentlemen, we're back here for yet another awesome video, review video today for you guys. Today, I'm going to bring in you a review over the 13 Fishing Defy Black Rod and the 13 Fishing Origin A casting reel right there. Uh, I just, um, you guys have seen these, these rod and reel combos and, oh, let me tell you, almost, you're guaranteed to see these rod and reel combos in every video almost. Uh, every fishing video at least, um, because they are that amazing. I love these rod and reel combos, can't speak highly enough of them. I just want to say this, uh, get this on the table real quick, I'm not being paid promoting them. Uh, I don't. I have no connection to 13 Fishing. Uh, I've never received anything from them and probably never will. But um, I just freaking love these products. Hopefully they always keep selling them because they are, let me tell you, amazing. So um, first of all, we're going to be, I'm going to be kind of going over the uh, kind of what I like to throw on these run reel combos. I'm just going to go over the specs of them very quickly. Uh, I do on this uh, 13 fishing 71 medium heavy. Uh, I do have a loose speed spool on here, and the reason why is because I want braid on uh, on this rod and my other, my second 13 fishing Origin A. This casting reel, my other one that I have, uh, has fluorocarbon on there right now, and I want braid on this rod currently uh, to do some frog fishing and chatterbait fishing. I don't want fluorocarbon on there for right now so um, so I have that one off but today I'm just gonna just I'm, I'm gonna hold up this reel talk about hold up and talk about this reel instead of this one so you guys don't get confused so um, other than that uh, these are the uh, this is the 13 fishing defy black uh, with a 13 fishing origin a casting reel right there uh, this is in a seven foot three inch medium heavy model and this second one is a 13 fishing uh, Defy Black 7 foot 1 inch medium heavy. Uh, and then, like I said, it has a loose reel on there. But normally, it would have a uh, the my other 13 fishing Origin A casting reel. And both of those reels are in a 8 1 to 1 uh, reel speed. So they're very fast reels and very quality, let me tell you, fellas. So, um, other than that, I love to throw. You can throw pretty much everything on the on the market uh, on these on these suckers. Uh, if if you get too big into swim baits, like the big big suckers, uh, these guys aren't meant for them. You're going to break your rod. So don't attempt that. I wouldn't attempt that um, unless your unless your pockets are pretty loaded. But um, yeah, these these rods are great. Uh, I love them to death. Like I said, I use them in almost every single fishing video, um, unless I am fly fishing. So um, that is that's how good they are. Um, I've got three of these rods and two of those reels, and they work phenomenally. I, I know I'm probably saying that wrong, but they work great. Okay, you you get the point. They work outstanding. Um, so, yeah, like I say, you can throw, I've got a frog and a swim jig on these two guys right here rigged up for tonight. Hopefully the rain is going to hold off. But you can throw chatterbaits, spinnerbaits, crankbaits, topwater baits like poppers and spooks, frogs, walking frogs, popping frogs, shaky heads, jigs. Uh, yeah, you can throw a lot of stuff. You get the point. Spinnerbaits, buzzbaits, deep crankbaits probably. I want to re recommend it. I would get a long, a longer rod and maybe a little bit softer tip, but these these rods are great. Okay, you get the point. I wouldn't throw no drop shots on these. Probably no Ned rigs. Uh, you can throw shaky heads, but no Ned rigs on these suckers. Uh, you can throw uh, uh, like yeah, no, probably no big swim baits. Yeah, like I said, no big swim baits. But other than that, you're you're good. You are good to go with these rods. Um, and these are actually great beginner rod and reel combos. Both of these. Together, this is a $60 rod and an $80 reel right here. So that comes in together, if you can't do the math, $140. Bucks. Yeah, that's pretty good. You can go work on Grandpa's farm for 14 hours, and if he pays you $10 an hour, you get you got yourself a brand new rod and reel combo. You just got to throw on some line, your favorite, favorite line, throw on a good old froggy froggy, and go get you some good old bass. And uh, you will have a blast doing it. And this rod will last you. This rod and reel combo will last you 
a good while. So um, I've had this, these rod and reel combos for, uh, I believe, coming up on two years almost. Uh, two years will be this year, I think this summer actually. And you can tell they still look really good. Um, the, the only difference is uh, between the two rods is one is two inches shorter and that's because it came like that. Okay, It's not because it was broken or anything. Uh, I have had to replace one of the eyelets uh, because a fish uh, got wrapped around. I set the hook and broke the eyelet. Uh, but that was nothing uh, to do with the rod. It was just me. So uh, me being rough on my stuff and my line getting tamed. But um, other than that, I'm going to hop into to the actual review stuff, what you guys are here for. Um, so I'm going to start off with the rod. First of all, like I say in most of all my reviews over this rod, um, is when 13 Fishing came out with this, they weren't trying to blow people's pants off, okay? They were, or your clothes off. They were trying to, you know, make a very good looking, okay? You look at the rod, it's very sleek, very slick design. It's not too fancy, okay? They, they're not trying to be a Maserati, okay, out here of, of, of fishing rods for 60 bucks, okay? You're not going to get that great. Okay, but they did want to sell you a great quality product for an amazing price. Okay, 60 bucks for this rod is outstanding. Okay, out of the roof. Okay, um, better than Walmart. Okay, um, I mean, it's 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 freaking amazing. Okay, just go watch my fishing videos. Okay, I set the hook like a like a like, like who knows? Okay, like Fat Cat Newton. Okay, like oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I set the hook pretty stinking hard, and these things stand up to wear and tear every single day, okay? You've, I've caught hundreds of fish on these these things, and they work outstanding, okay? So, super slick design, super uh, comfortable reel seats and everything, and the reel seats lock down your reel very good. Okay, I've had some other brand, brand of rods, Abu Garcia, uh, I think my favorite rods, 13 fish, and my favorite rods, flare rod might do it a little bit. But sometimes, like whenever you set the hook or whatever, you're you're messing with your reel down here. It just the the reel seat gets a little loose. Okay, I've had no problems with my reel seat on these rods, um, and I mean they just they work really well. The eyelets perform great. I don't know what eyelets they are, Fuji or whatever, but they work great. Um, other than myself breaking that one off. Uh, but like I said, 13 fishing. They didn't try to try to be like a, a sports car, um, a $200,000 sports car for bass fishing. They tried to sell you a great, outstanding, quality, quality product that you can use for years um, and grow up with. If you're a, a smaller kid uh, like myself, I guess. Um, but uh, I mean, they just freaking work. Okay. By now, I'm just kind of rambling. Okay, so um, next is, uh, I'm going to say uh, another thing is the actions and powers are very, they're pretty true, okay? <coughs> Golly, I need some water. I'm talking a lot out here, okay? You guys need to tune in next time. Yeah, like give me some feedback or something, okay? I need some water. All right, so yeah, the actions and powers. Okay, when you think of a medium heavy, you want you want it to be stout, but not too stout. You want it to be able to cast some lighter lures farther, but you, I mean, you want it to to just be a medium heavy, right in between that kind of softer, that kind of like flimsier tip, but not like a freaking broomstick. This is that. Okay, it is actually I I have flipped with this. I have boat flipped freaking four pounders on the bank or. Okay, bank flipped. Okay, yeah, I've lifted four pounders out of the water with these. I've lifted probably five pounders out of the water with this. I've lifted my PB six and a half pounds on this freaking rod on the bank. Okay, I freaking got it. I didn't get it very far. Okay, I got it maybe halfway out of the water, three quarters out of the water. But, you know, I freaking got it out of the water. And I was then I was able to grab the line and kind of lift it up on bank. Okay, fellas, a six and a half pounder boat flipping. These things are stout. They are very quality, like I've been saying for the past like 10 minutes. Um, but I mean, they just freaking work. Okay, fellas, I can't recommend these rod and row combos enough. But uh, I mean, they just freaking work. Okay, so the reel. Okay, 
real now, okay? Alright, fellas, well, we had a little intermission uh, because my mom let her dog out, her, our dog out, um, and uh, I, I didn't want her to because now she's going to go bark at people, okay? So just be aware if, if, if my dog freaking starts, starts barking, um, just be aware. Okay, so getting on to the real, okay? The real is 80 bucks, okay? Just look at it. Would you just look at that? Okay, stop freaking focusing. There we go. Just look at the reel, fellas. You guys have seen it on pictures on Instagram. You've seen it in the videos. Okay, it's an amazing reel. Okay, one, very smooth, right out of the box, fresh out of the box. I remember two years ago, okay, I can go back and look at it on my channel. This reel, freaking smooth, right out of the box. Put no oil on it at all, and it cast like a dream. I have not, I don't normally do too much real maintenance um, because I just, I, I don't know. I just never have really ever gotten around to doing it. Uh, I normally try to do it once a year, but this some, this winter I, uh, I actually skipped it. So I have not had uh, done real maintenance on this sucker for, uh, for probably about a, a solid year and a half, actually maybe even like a year and three quarters like a year and eight months okay so we're gonna we're gonna stick with that but th and this reel is still super smooth still cast like a dream cast super far okay it's it's a it's a quality reel okay next because my voice is getting a little dry okay if i talk for a really long time i mean i know this is like a, a different one of my videos but like if i cast if if i cast yeah we're talking about fishing here that's funny. If I talk for a long time, then my voice gets kind of dry and I need some water. I haven't had water in a while. So, next, the brakes. The brakes and the gears and everything, they work phenomenally, if I'm saying that right. Um, the, 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 start, the drag, the drag. The drag is really good. I, I normally don't pull in too many fish over uh, that pull line off. Um, actually, I've never had a fish pull line off over there than a, a tree pounder, eh? Um, but the drag is locked down. I'm not really sure how big it is. I think it's like 13 pounds of drag or whatever, something like that. 10 maybe. Okay, she's starting to bark. Okay. Um, but Alrighty, fellas. Well, that is, uh, that's my dog. Okay. That's my dog if you haven't met her yet. Okay. Um, on a live stream. Always doing some good old barking, let me tell you. Always doing barking. Uh, and that is one reason why my dog is still inside, uh, mother. But, uh, getting back here. The reels, or the reel. Uh, the drag is super good. The the line tension thing is great. Uh, it doesn't click, uh, which some people like it clicking. Uh, I don't really care. Um, and then the, uh, the, the, the spool tension knobs, or, no, I don't think that's what they're called. I don't know. They're, it's it, the base plate, this thing right in here. Um, works really well. Um, I mean, put it on a low number if there's no wind. Put it on a high number if there's wind. You can figure out the middle stuff. Okay, just use your inference. Okay, uh, inference skills from from old school. If school teaches you that still. Um, but I, I mean, it's just a freaking great reel. Okay, we're gonna go along with the rod. When they came out with this reel, they weren't trying to uh, be a sports car of, of fishing reels. Okay, it's 80 bucks. Okay, you're not gonna be a sports car of fishing reels for eighty dollars okay you're gonna have to spend more money than that okay but they were wanting to sell you a great quality product for a low price that works I've you guys have seen me in the videos I've pulled in some tanks with these caught my, caught a six and a half pounder on this probably I don't know if this is this exact combo but it was a it was one of these combos with it was it was a combo like this okay one of the two rods okay one of the two rods Boat flipped a six and a half pounder on land, uh, or bank flipped it, whatever you want to call it. Um, it just freaking works. Okay, it, it freaking works. You guys can go watch my videos like you, you guys have been. They work. Okay, the rod and reels, they work. I, I can't really stress to you guys enough like how good they are. They literally are great. The combos are great. They work phenomenally, like I've been saying. Um, yeah, I don't know what else do you guys to tell you guys. Um, other than that, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I know this was definitely a long video and definitely a uh, a little bit different video. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to be cutting all this up. 
uh, or it might just be a 16 minute video by now, but um, everything works great. Okay, the rod and rails combos, they work great. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it's kind of all over the place uh, with my dog barking and uh, some little intermission happening. Um, but other than that, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys will subscribe. I, I highly uh, suggest it and highly appreciate it. So um, other than that, thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode of LMB Nation. Peace, guys.